you, you can't blame the rank and files or the people below the head if your head is like leading them that way or bringing them towards that path. So you got to mm -hmm. cut cut the head, man. That's my opinion. Yeah. It's like a Hydra, right? Whenever you cut off their head, like two girls in this place. Yeah. Like, you need to like, you need to somehow like get rid of them. But all right, so it comes with some yeah. rounding in the comments as well. See, IG and France scrambles to backpedal after writing off Stellar Blade protagonist Eve as sex, uh, sorry, a doll sexualized by someone who has never seen a woman. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um, it's funny is because um, they had to. They had to like retract that statement or you know claim it or scrub it or whatever it is because uh um because the creator the creator's wife does a lot of the the actual designs and the thing yeah. is that um and uh what's it called again this is her right over here yep yeah so she works on she works a shift up some of the characters drawn by CEO's wife damn she's a good mm. artist mm. 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 okay that's a lolly get that shit out of here yep. <laughs> but yeah so the thing is that this person did not do if he done a shred of of uh what's it called again um research you would have found that shit right away right um let's see in the latest example of western video game press having a chip on their shoulder when it comes to media created not just by japan but apparently an east asian nation ig in france has found themselves scrambling to defend themselves after writing off Stellar Blade's lead protagonist, Eve, despite being based entirely on a real-world appearance of an actual female model of being nothing more than a sexualized fantasy for of someone who has never seen a woman. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, because... Uh, I, to be honest, a lot of people who write these articles, who are, who, who are writing all, a lot of these things... They are so insecure of their own bodies, they have to shame everyone else to agreeing that, oh, you know, you're actually sexualizing characters and yada, yada, yada. But yeah, it's it's so stupid, man. You see, um, the French arm in the video game news outlet leveled their accusation against Stellar Blade's artistic direction on March 27th as part of their preview of the South, uh, South Korean character action title. Following a brief overview of the game's post-apocalyptic humanity must fight for survival premise, the outlet's Ben Osola took a detour to share his uh, protestations against Eve's sexually appealing character design. Quote, the design of the game, in particular, its character highlights an obvious bias, wrote Os Osola, per an English translation piece provided by the article's author. Uh, we're going to beat up the alien... But if we can do that while pleasuring the eyes of men, that's a bonus. I don't see a problem with that, man. Yeah, exactly. How yeah. How, how do you feel about this so far? Uh, yeah, they kind of like it's like saying sorry, but well, I said sorry because I have to. That that that's the kind of that's the kind of tone I'm getting based on how he's writing it. So it's yeah. like he doesn't really. It's like if I could get away with it, getting away with what I said, I would. That, that's the vibe I get. Yeah. Well, to give them credit, I never knew there was an ING, ING, IGN France <laughs> until this article came up. I didn't even know there was a, a France division of IGN. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Um, and the result doesn't really work, he continued. It's not new, and other games have made the choice to highlight the assets of the female characters, but where Bayonetta bears an iconic character design or 2B from near Automata, Inspired the entire generation of cosplayers, Stellar Blades Eve is just boring. A doll sexualized by someone who has never seen a woman. Damn. And they basically, uh, I believe they actually, on the bottom of their article, it says that they changed it. Right? There's like an edit or something like that. And they're trying to remove this person's name. Right? Unfortunately, sorry, got distracted. <laughs> Unfortunately yeah. for Osola, even the briefest of the internet searches regarding Stellar Blade's development reveals that his complaints are based not in any real world fact, but rather his own personal hangups. To start, Eve's designer, game director, and CEO of his publishing company Shift Up, Hyung Tae Kim, has definitely seen a woman before, as evidenced by the fact that he is currently married to Shift Up concept artist Ji Yoon Che. I'm gonna slow. I'm gonna slowly slow uh, scroll down here just just for a little bit. Uh, done. Uh, further, while Eve herself may be a fictional character, her appearance is not. Instead of being based on a full one-to-one -one body scan of a real-world South Korean model Shin Jae-un, 
yes, we did base the character of Eve on Shin Jae-yoon. And the aforementioned Kim ex uh, explained to Push Square of the protagonist's conception. We thought that her body shape would be good reference for the character that we were pursuing, but the face was created originally in house. It's not just uh, it's just the body, the model that we scanned for the game. And I believe they did beef her up a little bit, maybe, maybe just a little bit. But yeah, overall, and, and here here's basically a link to her right over here. I can't yeah. click on anything else because she, she wears a lot of provocative stuff, chat. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Go. Yeah, it's like I, I, I saw the tweets of Grums on her. I think she debuted on Maxim. <laughs> so there's a lot of photos yes. there. Yeah, she debuted on a Maxim. Yeah. So uh the thing is that now she's getting more popular, right? So let, let's yeah. see. She's, she's she became, all of a sudden she became, if she wasn't already popular before now, she's way, way more popular now. Yeah. But let's but see, I'm uh, curious I'm curious though. It's like, like like the other girl in the demo, right? Tacky. Was, I wonder if her body was also based on her or on, on another model. Yeah, her tits I, I, are a little bit bigger, so I need to see who it is. <laughs> I, I need to see the other. I need to see the other. And also the face, right? I think the yeah. face was also motion captured by another model. Yeah, I need to I, see I, it. I, I need it now. Yeah. I, I hope Taki is a playable character. She's secretly a playable character. Yeah. All right, let's continue right over here. It says, in the light of both of their ignoring of these facts, their blatant attempt to insult Kim... Both Osola and IG in France soon found themselves facing a massive wave of backlash from the general public regarding the lack of journalistic integrity. However, rather than respond to this outrage by admitting to have completely missed the mark with the accusations, the writers and outlet instead moved to try to cover up their shoddy work by blaming the public and having misread the original statement. <clears throat> That's bullcrap because they got, they, got, they got caught, like you said. They got caught because if no, and I believe they got um, community noted too. So um, that's hilarious. Uh, changing their insulting description of E from a sexualized by someone who has never seen a woman to a doll sexualized by someone who would think has never seen a woman. Wow, that's that's so fucking, that's so bad. Osola then added a pompous disclaimer in English that the last this last sentence has been slightly edited for French-speaking people pretending not to understand what we meant and an English-speaking mob who Google translated the initial text. What a piece of shit, man. Uh, however, since then, IG in France has amended their disclaimer instead of claiming that the article was edited, quote, following death threats, which is a fucking lie. I want to see receipts if that's, a, if that's the actual thing. I want to see it, receipts from a solo. The, the, the thing about receipts of death threats, though, like you can still angle, oh, you just made a fake number and shit like that. So even if they did, I, I actually think the death threats, some, not, not maybe a couple of you are true, but, but it's most likely it's very unsubstantiated. Unsubst it's not really legit or they can't really pull it off. But yeah, but that shouldn't be the reason why you, uh, you know, you take back what you said. You actually regret what you said is actually offensive. Is actually insulting a lot of people, not because he got death threats. It's like I right. I wouldn't frame it that way. Now here's the thing. Here's another one. This is from Grums. It says IG in France, uh, editor in chief meltdowns. Um, a yeah, meltdown. Stellar Blade is literally killing women. So this is a translation from uh, Topek eight nine nine. So right over here, it says. Uh, he answered, yes, no problem. Go tell that to a woman who are hit, killed, uh, denigrated, or who committed, uh, you know, uh, unaliving because they cannot live up to the fictional standard ex expected by men. Uh, and here's another one. The problem is not the sexy design itself, except that it sucks compared to the others. But they, sorry, but hey, that doesn't matter. Uh, but the percentage of males who will only want this type of fictional body in reality. Obviously, we understand that this does not shock the people who think uh, that women are subjects who must obey and be beaten. Uh, this design makes us sigh and roll our eyes. And we laugh at anyone who needs it, man or a woman, but that's it. The, cert uh, the certainly clashing remark in the text which targets the entire creative process, not necessarily a specific designer or the game or the, uh, the game uh, director. Uh, this is obviously to anyone who knows little French, uh, only has the impact because a, a good portion of the gamers have become too fragile due to the fed, uh, fed the patriarchy. Those writers are completely insane. So basically, this person didn't want to edit what they wrote. So they went and basically went like 
It's like, this is actually how I feel and stuff like that. So, um, <clears throat> Gray, how do you feel about this unhinged person saying all these things about uh, uh, fictional standards expected by men? Yeah, it's like, uh, first, you don't know what a vid... Like, you, I think you hate video games in general. So why are you working for a video game editorial? Because, like, that's what video games are, any form of entertainment are designed to do. It's like, Realism is like very, very secondary or even less than that. At the end of the day, they're meant to entertain, to take you out of reality. To um, like it's like the world's already shitty as it is. So you want you want a space or an avenue to be able to de-stress or to see things in a better way so that you can um, keep living your life. But apparently, you want to take that away and put in more realism into an already in an already shitty world anyway. So yeah, uh, either resign or hopefully get terminated. No, no joke. It's like, look, go look for another line of work. You, you don't, uh, you don't belong in games journalism, or at least we need to yeah. bring back legitimate game journalism. Talk about gate, actual, the games, the gameplay is the game. Good. Is the game bad? And not if the game is woke or not. Yep. And here's, and, and here's a follow-up. Says IGN offers official apology after French branch insults Stellar Blade director for choosing to create attractive female protagonists. An admittedly surprising admission of wrongdoing from an industry known for going out of their way to ever avoid doing so. IGN has offered an official company apology to Stellar Blade director and shift up co CEO, uh, sorry, CEO uh, Hyung Tae Kim after French branch cho uh, choose to insult him over his his decision to portray his game's protagonist, Eve, with a sexually attractive design. Uh, as previously reported is, uh, in this preview, the game for IGM France outlet contributor Ben Osola chose to dedicate a non-significant portion of his word count to dismissing Kim's artistic vision as nothing more than a creepy fantasies of a sexless weirdo. So basically, this is what... Um, they said right over here, and uh, I'm not going to repeat that right over there because we read it. After being presented with the evidence contrary to the accusation, specifically the twin facts that Kim is married to fellow Shift Up concept artist uh, Ji Yoon Che and Yi's full appearance based on a one-to-one -one body scan of the real-world Korean model Shin Jae Yoon, rather offer a retraction or correction the outlet would in, uh, instead attempt to defend their lack of journalistic integrity by blaming the public. Uh, changing insults, description from Eve to sexualized doll, we already read that. So let's go down to see what uh, IGN actually says. Let's see. Uh, finally, on April 3rd, the head of IGN office would step in to put an end to the situation, retracting a sola statement regarding Eve's appearance as a doll sexualized by someone who has never seen a woman and offering a full apology to Kim for the article's original publication. Quote, recently, IGN France produced the pub and published a preview of Stellar Blade containing an offensive passage that should never have been included. The text has now been modified, and here's our official apology to the staff at Shift Up Corporation, wrote the outlet. Also, please note that IGN France is an independent branch of IGN, and that IGN's and editorial staff had nothing to do with this incident. That guy is fired. He's done. He 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 better be. He better. I'm more. I would I would be more surprised if he isn't. It's like mm -hmm. and yeah, even no, even if they can they say. Oh, it's a separate branch. We have nothing to do with it. But you're still using the IGN brand. Change, change your name then. Like, Woke, woke Gaming. Woke, the woke Gaming <laughs> Emporium. Don't name yourself IGN then. Because otherwise, you would automatically be associated. Because you, you're carrying the IGN brand also. Mm -hmm. So you, you, can't say, you can't completely be... You can't completely evade the liabilities. The other brand shares your brand. Re rename, yeah. rename the company then. If you don't want to... If you uh, if you want to steer clear of the entity in France, yeah. Let's see. Um, the original text of Stellar Blade preview contained statements that were out of place. They added, while it was never our intention to disrespect either Shift Up or any of its employees or their work, we recognize that the sentence taken in its literal sense was out of place, and we regret it. Ultimately, IGN concluded for anyone at Shift Up Corporation who felt personally targeted, basically the basically the 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 owner and the model. Uh, and insulted by this passage, we are truly sorry and apologize profusely. At the current, <laughs> Stellar Blade has said to cut its uh, its way exclusively onto PS5 consoles April 26. Man, man, it's basically, like in a couple of days, they got fucked. <laughs> yep. They're like, I'm sorry. I'm actually sorry. We fucked up. And it's good to see 
outlets like this apologize is because majority of them don't ever fucking apologize at all, right? So, um, man, um, are you looking forward to getting the game now? Oh like, yeah, even, yeah. even more. Have... Did, did now? Did you get the the digital deluxe? You should cancel your regular version and get the <laughs> and get the digital deluxe. <laughs> the, the thing is, I was contesting with myself, like. Do I get the digital deluxe or do I get the physical stand? We don't have the we don't have any deluxe physical. The thing is, I I I'm a strong proponent of physical games. So at this end of the day, I decided I I want the hard copies. Like like what happened I with might the buy the hard copy actually. Yeah, like, like yeah. I might double dip. Yeah. yeah, if it's like if I I don't know if I'm a huge huge fan, I'll double dip. But the thing is, like, remember what happened with. When the demo came out early, like they just retracted it like that. They cannot do that with a physical copy. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.